Hey guys, I'm Jack and I'm Marcella and we just got back from the movies. We just saw Thor Ragnarok and it was amazing it was so good so good we absolutely love it it's definitely our favorite out of all the yes. Thor movies i thought that it had the best plot and all yeah. the characters had the best story storylines and they were all just awesome and chris hemsworth is looking his best in this one like he's Seriously. just a gorgeous man oh my god yeah, but thought, overall yeah the plot was yeah. a little bit easier to understand mm -hmm. than his past movies i think yeah a lot of times with the mythology it gets kind of confusing we, we enjoy the mythology but sometimes we get a little lost in the plots for the mm -hmm. thor movies like we really love the first one and the second one was just like good for us like it wasn't like anything spectacular exactly. but so we went into this with like pretty like medium like expectations like we didn't know yeah. really what to expect going into I didn't it i didn't go into this thinking like oh my gosh this is gonna be amazing i yeah. kind of went into this like I, I expected like a good movie yeah but yeah my expectations were definitely Ooh, met there was it. amazing action scenes so much reaction a lot right. of funny lines too there was this mm -hmm. movie was a lot funnier than i thought it would be it was and hilarious. i really enjoyed that it was yeah i felt like he had oh, his lines were so witty i love thor, thor i always his lines are so witty i always love him in like the avenger and like i love the in the Avengers and he's just he's just such a funny character and he's so awesome and he's just great. We had a lot of funny new <laughs> characters too. Yes, a lot of great um reunions. The characters were great, the story was great, and overall we give this movie like five out of five stars. I yeah, really love sure. it. Yeah. If you have not yet seen it, definitely go check it out. You won't be disappointed. Yes. <laughs> now we're gonna get into some spoilers. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't seen it, you need to leave. Ready? Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god, guys. It was so, so good. But the, it end, was awesome. the ending, I love the ending. I was, was like, Thor will return in Infinity yeah. Wars. <laughs> like, okay, but where's the trailer, Marvel? Like, <laughs> right away in the beginning of this movie, started off with a great action scene. Mm -hmm. And we had the fire demon. I forgot they might have said the name of it. I don't yeah. remember. I don't really remember. I think it started with an S. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> that was a really cool scene. It was really funny yeah. how he's in the chain. Yeah, and he's like <laughs> spinning around. He's spinning around. He's like, oh, wait, I'm, I'm coming back. Give me a second. And that, was, that was a really comical scene to open up the movie. Mm -hmm. And then and they then, had that good action scene. The music was there. Yeah, it was just such a great mm -hmm. way to open the, song, the movie. And he's fighting. And I really loved, I noticed in the beginning, when during that fight scene, like, I love how they use the hammer and, like, mm -hmm. use the perspective of the hammer when, like, the hammer was yes. going at, like, the... Bad yeah, guys, that was really cool. That was That's awesome. That's something I remember. I was like, wow, that was really like, that was like a clever like camera work type thing they did. <laughs> the hammer was missed in this movie. I, I missed it at first. But and I was kind it, of annoyed, but yeah. the, the reasoning for it, it, there was a reason for it. Mm -hmm. So it was okay. Yeah. It was for him to realize, obviously, in the end. That he's stronger than the yeah, hammer. That if, his powers didn't come from the hammer. They mm -hmm. were within him. Exactly. The hammer didn't give him the, the ability for, to the thunder. That was yeah. within him. Yeah. So I really actually enjoyed that he did not have the hammer. Exactly. I thought it added so much more to his character mm -hmm. and we just love Thor. So really love the um the hates the love bromance that we had going on with Loki. Yes, <laughs> Loki, you never know what Loki is gonna do, honestly. Mm -hmm. And I just really love this movie. How he was always like he was there for his brother, and he was like, like he portrayed him, but like not really. Like he came through at the end. So he it was does. just yeah, so, yeah. I really it, enjoyed that. Yeah, I love Tom Hiddleston too, and he's just hilarious. Like I mm -hmm. love the scene when he's like sitting there and he had just gotten captured, and he like starts throwing like the rocks at him because he's not really there. Yeah. And then like frequently throughout the movie, he's always like throwing things at him <laughs> to see if he's there. Yeah, that was so funny. funny. Really like the scene with Doctor Strange in the very beginning with Benedict Yeah, that Cumberbatch. was really awesome. Yeah, I didn't. We didn't know he was gonna be in this. It was funny. It was funny. How He's like, I don't drink tea. And then he gives him the beer and he like, <laughs> like chugs it. Beer. It's like this beer. He like chugs it. And it kept like filling up magically. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah, and he kept like moving around. Every time he'd move around, the beer would like spill <laughs> everywhere. And then like at the end before he left, he's like, um, where's your oh you don't forget your umbrella? And you just hear like crashing from up there. He's like, he's like, um, yeah, like sorry. <laughs> and then the umbrella came. And then he's like, Oh yeah, and I also need my brother. And then Loki's like, yeah. well. <laughs> I've been falling for 30 minutes. That was a great line. <laughs> You're dying in the theater. Yeah. There's so many lines in this movie just stuck out. It was just exactly. so hilarious. Like the, the writing was just like awesome. Yeah, I, I really loved it. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it was honestly just a great movie in that way. It was really nice to go and have such lighthearted 
moments in the midst of like battle scenes like it yeah. was just yeah it was a fun way to exactly. put that in and like I, we really love the scene um with the whole hulk with the battle with the hulk and oh, when he comes out he's like yeah, yeah it's a friend from work <laughs> like hey loki look who's here Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Loki's just like, like, oh my god, I don't know you. <laughs> that was great. I thought that the Grandmaster was a really like interesting type of villain. Like mm -hmm. he wasn't really like too evil, yeah, he but he was still evil. He wasn't your typical villain. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like he just wanted these battles for entertainment for his people. Like it was just, it was really cool. It was, it set up for a cool plot, but like he wasn't really too vital like obviously our main villain was Hela which we'll mm -hmm. talk about later but yeah I thought that the Grandmaster was funny and I really love that the entrance into his world he was like in like the chair and then like and Willy the, Wonka Willy was flying, Wonka's flying. <laughs> like what he's like you are now about to meet the Grandmaster you are now about to and meet he's the Grandmaster he's like, yeah. he's so and he's in funny. the chair he's just like <laughs> <laughs> yeah but before that when he does get captured by Volcre when he does get captured by her, that's when you first see him without the hammer. Mm -hmm. And you see him get beaten up and everything, and it's just like, oh no. And he really yeah. had some awesome he development. He had great like, development. Goes, like, as soon, yeah, as soon as he, get, he, gets yeah. into that, he gets into that trouble when he doesn't have the hammer, he goes and reaches for it. Yes, And exactly. then by the end of the movie, he learned how to fight without the hammer. I loved yeah. it in that. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Such great character development. Yeah. And it was so, it was so important for his character to become that powerful especially because exactly. i'm assuming we're really really gonna need him in infinity war so yeah. valkyrie we really liked her i thought she was so cool and i really i love i love her entrance when she yes. comes off the ship and she's like hell in the bottle and she just tips over yeah. and then she gets up and she's like all right like i guess i'm gonna go through you and then like she but, has like the things on her arms and yeah, then the, the ship starts yeah, yeah. And then the spaceship starts shooting that was awesome that was so cool i really love the, her relationship with thor like i totally shipped though they were really yeah. funny i love like the hate to love like i love that trope so much <laughs> so i was so into it i'm like oh my gosh yeah. like when they're fighting i'm like oh my god you guys are totally gonna be in love like <laughs> well just... they had that one scene where they both came up at the, on the yeah. stage at the same time and they were kind of like like they kind of came cute. like really close to each other and then yeah that was really the only thing yeah exactly <laughs> it was cute it though, was very like, subtle but... because it, exactly, it but I like I like their relationship because yeah, she yeah mm -hmm. she didn't want to help him at first, and then she realized that it was the the exactly. right thing to do. Yeah, she had I loved her backstory mm -hmm. with like the Vulcan. We get like the flashback when Loki goes into her head. Like I thought yeah. that was so cool, and just every single character I felt like had such a good plot for themselves like they did and there it was like a compelling plot too it wasn't just like yeah. there it was actually like you wanted to it like tied into yeah. the overall story but it was separate mm -hmm. where like they were able to grow in their own yeah. way uh -huh. and with each other too because exactly. a lot of the relationships changed mm -hmm. and there was a huge shift in all of the relationships yeah. and i just it was just fantastic still i loved loki like i love this scene when him and thor are in like the elevator and they're going up and they're like we're not gonna do the get get the yes. get help that like <laughs> He's like, we're not doing it. He's like, hang on. I need some help. <laughs> and they, help. he throws him to not go down the, the guy. Yes. And then he ends up, and then that's when Loki goes to betray him. And then he uses, like, the zapping thing. And yeah. he just leaves him there. And then at the end, he comes through and saves Asgard. I mean, in that post credit scene, when um, they're going back to Earth, and Loki's like, you think that I'm going to be welcome there? And, you know, Thor's going to have his back. Like, and he's like, probably not. But he's going to be there. I can't wait to see yeah, that. That's I can't wait to see that. It's going to be good. to be interesting. Yeah, I can't wait. The big ending scene with the fire demon and Hela. I oh thought my yeah, God. Hela's story was actually really good. Mm -hmm. I loved her backstory and it yeah. tied into the, her dad. And I kind of actually felt bad for her at first because mm -hmm. she was like used as an executioner. Yeah, yeah. She was obviously wrong. <laughs> but even the but villain, it, even the villain had depth to her character. Exactly. Like, like every single character yeah. was so good in that way, so character driven. But the plot was also extremely strong. Like it just tied in so ter like so perfectly, mm -hmm. and it was just it was a great movie to sit. She and just you could feel story. like you could just tell she had all the she had so mm -hmm. much jealousy too yeah. towards her brothers because they were looked at in this light and she never was even though she was yeah. the firstborn. Yeah, it's yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I thought she was really cool though. Like I loved um how like her hair turned yeah, into like, like when she went like that yeah. and then 
like she had her two like weapons yeah I thought, yeah she was she was really cool she was thing. so cool like she, she was, was actually really powerful she was scary too like exactly. i thought like she was actually like mm -hmm. a scary villain and oh my god that battle scene with thor oh my god when thor lost his eye oh my god in the theater we, <gasps> we were, were like, like <laughs> we were like Oh we did not God. see that coming. That really scared us. And like, I'm still really upset about it. But he looks hot with the eye patch, so it's all good. Chris Hemsworth can pull off anything. It, that's true. So and it kind bad. of like parallels how his dad exactly. had the mm -hmm. eye patch, which is I, Ford. Yeah. Oh my gosh! In the middle of the theater, we're like, we're like looking at each other. We're like, who is this? Yeah. And, and then, then we hear his voice. We, heard, we kept listening to his voice. We're like, this is Ford from Westworld. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I thought that battle scene was really scary though, and I did love that though when she was holding him and she's like, oh, I'm the god of death. What are you the god of? And oh, then he yes. had that flash with his dad again. Yes. And then the flash, lightning like, was gone that. everywhere. Oh, it was mm -hmm. so awesome. It was so rewarding too to finally just see yes. him. Like, oh, just. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> mm -hmm. We loved uh, Stanley had a cameo, like always. And it was oh, like, <laughs> yes, when he cut, his, he cut his hair. That was that was really cool. That was, that was great. Funny. Oh my god. <laughs> but I just need to take a moment to just say how beautiful Chris Hemsworth looks. Like, so his... wonderful. Even when... And then finally he cut his hair. And it was like, yes. Yeah, it was like, yes. <laughs> I like look over at Marcella at one point. I'm like, I'm like, is that no. Yeah, she looks at me. She's like, are his abs even real? I'm like, I don't know. Oh my god, I don't, I don't know. think so. He's just so beautiful. Oh. I could gush about Chris Hemsworth in like an entire like separate video, just right. talking about how beautiful he is. And like, thank you, Marvel, for the shirtless scene. All right, that's enough. That's all. Cool. <laughs> but we also really loved uh, Korg in the, in the theater too. Like he's the Rock. Like I thought yeah. he was so like he was so cute. Yeah. <laughs> like it's funny because he's this big like guy, this big rock guy. You expect him to be like this like tough like mean guy, mm -hmm. and he was just like really just a nice rock guy. Yeah. He was just really nice. And, and then he found that it was like Meek, like the little like pet that he had at the end of the movie. <laughs> Like, Meek's dead. I just felt bad, so I've been carrying him around. And he's like, guys, Meek's alive! <laughs> like, he was oh just, my God. he was really funny. Yeah, that was great. Even the executioner had a lot of character development. Oh my god. He had, like, no lines in the movie, really. He only had, like, a few in, the I think, the beginning, yeah. and then a little bit. Like, he wasn't, he was such a small part, but he had such a good story. You were and able to tell too that he yeah. wasn't all there with Hella. Even when yes. she wanted him to execute that girl, mm -hmm. she he he hesitated. He didn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. And then it, he it ended up that he didn't have to. Yeah. But you could see that struggle within him. And he's such it a small so character. But yeah, I thought that was awesome. Was and then in really the end actor. Yeah, in the end he ended up having a redemption yeah and he's and he sacrificed himself yeah. like it was so great his story mm -hmm. and like it was just very unexpected you know he was such a small character yeah. and i really love his character yeah, development was exactly. great it was so good i was still sad to see him go down but it was just it was necessary like mm -hmm. i don't think his story would have been complete really if he didn't get sacrifice himself exactly. for, for asgard we did love uh the hulk in this i love his dynamic yes. with thor <laughs> it was so good though yeah. like at the end of the movie when they got banner back and mm -hmm. he was, yes. and like oh my but god but he was back to the hulk in the end and we never really got to yeah. see what happened with that either yeah but when he was banner and they were first in like tony stark's ship it was so funny <laughs> I love that they, the whole like thing of like who's the strongest avenger yeah yeah, there were so many Avenger jokes. Yeah. It was great. And then he, he ended up putting on Tony Stark's clothes. Yes. And then he put his glasses and he's like, my disguise, I'm Tony Stark. <laughs> and then Thor had like the blanket like over. And then Loki's like, 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 how is that a disguise? He's like, well, if I do this, you can't see my face. <laughs> Literally, we were like cracking Dying. up in the theater. I'm so pumped for the next Avenger movie. Like, I wish we got a trailer. Infinity War. I really wish we got a trailer. They played, really, they played great trailers, but like, where's Infinity War? Marvel. That was a perfect opportunity. <laughs> yes. As far as the end credit scenes go, uh, they were okay. Well, I really liked the one with Thor and Loki when they were talking about going to Earth. Like, I loved yeah, that. Yeah, the that first was one was good. The second one was like, eh. It was just okay. Like, compared to seeing, like, Guardians, 
Like that, I thought that end that had scene a stronger was, end credit. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty much our overall thoughts. Um, let us know what you guys thought of the movie. Down below, let's talk about it. Yes, I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about it because we absolutely love it. And yeah, let us know some of your favorite parts. What was your favorite line in the movie? Like, yeah, did you have like a really like hilarious <laughs> moment where you were dying in the theater? Because we had quite a few. <laughs> was there anything you dislike? Because I don't think yeah. there's really anything that I could think of that I disliked. No, honestly, I, I loved all of it. Yeah. And I actually want to see it again. Mm -hmm. And I just really need to gawk more at Chris Hemsworth right? because I was like <laughs> drooling like it was like <laughs> yeah so if you enjoyed our review and you love the movie please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more movie reviews yeah you can also follow us on Twitter and Snapchat we're at City of the Field thank you for watching thank you for watching bye, bye.